The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> God makes peace to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord.
Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord. as 
Tonight, we commemorate Evelyn Underhill, a witness of the risen Lord, a woman who taught us that adoration is caring for God above all else, and who taught us if God were small enough to be understood, he would not be big enough to be worshipped. I come in the little things, saith the Lord, not born on morning wings of majesty, but I have set my feet amidst the delicate and bladed wheat that springs triumphant in the furrowed sod. There do I dwell in weakness and in power, not broken or divided, saith our God, is your straight garden plot I come to flower, about your porch, my vine, meek, fruitful, doth entwine, waits at the threshold, love's appointed hour. O God, who dost enlighten the hearts of thy faithful people, grant us after the example and teaching of thy servant, Evelyn, to seek those things that are above, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, world without end. Amen. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord. For it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to the Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, 
vita tocedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, ex oles filii ave, a te suspiramus, gem entes et flentes, in hac lacramarum vale. E haco, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes haculos, ad nos convete. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium postende. O clemens, O pia, O ducis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. We may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who by the cooperation of the Holy Ghost did prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to become a dwelling place meet for thy Son, grant that as we rejoice in her commemoration, aided by her gracious intercession, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always. <laughs>